Hey y'all, it's me, Nisi Lynn. This is the 10th of March, 2023. This is um, baby Keely's 31st birthday. So I know y'all, y'all laugh because that's a baby Keely wild man, but um, he is the last baby I had. So he is still my baby. I got, um, I worked a little bit on a lot of things this week and I gave myself a new start because I looked out uh, one day and there were robins all over the backyard and they stay here. I mean, I see them all year, but not like this. I mean, it was covered. They were everywhere. And so um, I remembered that I'd wanted to stitch the shepherd's bush spring blooms. And I did check and it's still available on their website. And I told y'all about a couple weeks ago. It has the robin there. They have a button. I'm not gonna try to get the button. I'm just gonna reverse the little robin and put two robins down there since I had so many. It's a super fast little stitch. I think it's 49 by 49 is what it says. It has back stitch. It doesn't have any other specialty stitches though, even though it does look, um, it looks really intricate. And so like the back stitching and things make it look like you have a lot of half stitches and things, but you don't, you don't know. I stitched it on, this is a piece of 28 count Monaco Yellow Moon by Wicked Stepmother. Um, I think Frankie and Rhonda sent it to me for my birthday last year, but I am stinking loving this. It is so cute. And I pulled a lot of my Wicked Stepmother colors it is, that is more the real color, like this. When I go up this close, it bleaches it out some, bleaches the yellow out, but it really is more like this. It's a real buttery, beautiful yellow. And I have just enjoyed the heck out of it. The border is Wicked Stepmother Springtime. It's this one. And I just had to use it for this, even though it's yellow, there's just little spots that it doesn't show up quite as good. I'm gonna try just to flap this one over there. I've used mainly my Wicked Stepmother colors for this, but that way you can see, mm, Patty, don't knock the camera over. There is yellow in there, but it is more, that's more true color right around in there. Hattie, baby, what are you doing? Come say hi to everybody and then go down. Can you say hi, huh? Say hi, Patty. Go look at your robins. I've got your stool under the window. Go watch the birds out there. They're out there on the feeder. Go watch the birds. We'll see how she does with that. But it is beautiful thread. And I wanted to use it and as my border. So I did. So my border is the Wicked Stepmother Springtime. And I just love how it turned out on there. It looks so springy. I planted 40 bulbs on Monday. I haven't put any bulbs in here since we moved in. So I got some iris, some snowbells, some hostas. It seemed like there was one other thing, but I can't think what it is. Maybe that was it. But there was 40 of them. Anyway, I got them all on the ground and then we've had some good rain since then. So hopefully they'll um, do their thing. So I thought I would have some finishes this week, but I didn't because I just let myself go off on tangents, which that's fine. Um, okay. What else was I gonna tell you about that? Oh, like I said, this is available. I looked, it is upside down. <laughs> it is on there. It's called Spring Blooms. Where's the word on there? Right there by Shepherd's Bush. And it's from 2010, but it was still available on their website thing. So it is still out there to stitch and it's beautiful. They stitched it on one of those pieces of 
wind pain, you know, linen, it says it is anti-quite with blue lines, Newport blue and anti-quite linen, a 28 count piece. But I just did mine on this yellow and I am stinking loving it. I don't know if I can slide that. No, I did that the wrong way. I can't slide it that way. So anywho, there's that guy. So since I saw those robins, I just let myself uh, start that. I should have finished it yesterday, but I had catch here and we were having all the fun. And then he went to sleep. And um, since I can do whatever I want, because I'm the grandma, I didn't, I didn't lay him down. So I just held him for the two hours while he slept and watched him sleep because he's so precious. So it should have been finished, but I was having snuggle time instead. So, oh well. That was much better than finishing. I will tell you that. But the colors I've got going on it are mainly Wicked, I pulled a bunch of my Wicked Stepmothers. I've got Springtime, I've got Purple Rain, there's a DMC 611 and 3362. I've got Wicked Stepmother Baby Face, Green Onions, Hard to Be Humble. Then the breast of the Robin is Waxahachie. And then I've got DMC 210, Rose Garden, and Green Acres. I think I used Green Onion. I pulled them both. And I think the stems I used were green onion. I wish I had used green acre. It would have showed up a little bit better, been a little bit darker for the, uh -uh, for the blooms, not the blooms, the leaves on the plants. The green acre is just a little bit darker, just a little bit more green. And I probably should have grabbed them, but see, I've got the robin here and I'll reverse him and put another robin here, and then that has three pansies there in the center, and then I'll be done. So this doesn't have much time left on it, and I'll be finished. So that'll be a finish uh, today. Like I said, it should have been a finish this week, uh, but it didn't happen. It did not happen. The girls and Micah left out last night for Florida. Their flight got delayed, so they didn't get in until about 12.30. But those good little travelers, um, they go in their little fleece onesie suits, you know, um, like zip up looking pajama things or one piece deals. And they have their little neck pillows and they just go right on and sleep on the plane. And they're fabulous little travelers, but Micah and them have been traveling they have had them traveling since they were born. I mean, no joke. They flew with car seats and and all the things. So they are excellent little travelers. So they're on, the kids are on spring break this week around here. So I think our um, relatives in Arkansas are on the next week. Because I think Aunt Becky's coming in the next week. And so I'll get to see her. But around here, the kids are on spring break this week. So the girls are gone to Florida. They'll be gone. They left last night and they won't be back until Sunday week. So they'll be gone like the whole week long. So it's going to be a long week for me. I worked on Wooly Winter and I have decided since it's hard for me to see, I'm going to make myself work on Wooly Winter a little bit every week because I do have a hard time seeing it. So I just decided, you know what, I'll do a row or two and get it done just like that. Because it has rows of specialty stitches, which I love. I don't know why I have a hard time seeing on this blue. Usually I just have a hard time seeing on black and it's 32 count, so it's not that small. But this is Wooly Winter by Shepherd's Bush. It has a snowman and the mittens. And then like I said, this is one of those that the picture is beautiful, but you can't see the design as good in the picture as I wish you could. And I started in the middle and have just been going up and down, kind of trying to work on it like that. So 
Let me see if I can push this guy on here. Maybe like that. So I did the, the two rows above the hearts. Yesterday. I've got, um, it's just satin stitches and then a back stitch row. And you can kind of see that right there. But it is very hard to see in the picture. But it is beautiful pattern. So cute. I'm really, really enjoying it. It's one strand of silk over two. So it's not, like I said, I shouldn't be having as hard a time seeing it as I'm having seeing it, but I am really struggling with seeing this design on this fabric. I don't know what it is, but I love it. So I want to finish it. It's gorgeous. And it's just a little cute little skinny little stitch, but it's called Wooly Winter by Shepherd's Bush. I forgot to check and see if it's still available, but I'm sure it is even though it's an older one, but it's called Wooly Winter. But I do love it. It has been fun to work on, even though it's just a little hard to see. So I try to do it um, in the morning or like toward the middle of the day and not work on it in the evening because it is um, easier to see when the light is better. Even though I have a light on it, you wouldn't think that would matter. My Cardinal Ken, I did work on, and I'm so excited. Um, like I said, it was, uh, it's been bird week around here. Birds are starting to be active again, and I've had them, you know, when it's cold, but they're not, they just don't look happy when it's cold. They're just trying to survive, like me, when the weather's cold. So I just got this guy out and did the, I finished the mama bird. So I had finished the baby bird last week. I finished the mama bird this week. So this next week, hopefully I'll finish the daddy bird. I'll try to smooth it out a little bit. How's y'all's Lenten vows going? Mine's going pretty good. I am. Hungry as a hostage though, I ain't gonna lie. By the time Friday gets here, I am starving Marvin. Okay, I'm trying to get it on here, y'all. I know it's, I know this is tedious. And I thought I had, yes. This is on a piece of 36 count French country mocha. I believe I got it from Oh my gosh. Fabric and floss, Julian. I think I got it from you. Oh my gosh, I'm just in here totally blank. But that's Plum Street Samplers, Cardinal Kin. Theirs is done on a lighter fabric. I did mine on um, a darker fabric, but I am loving it. The little white dots on there on the bird are snow. So you can see in the patterns on theirs, it doesn't show up as much except when it's on the bird. I'm gonna try to hold it up here really close where you can see. But I'm hoping my little snow will show up better on this fabric than it does on theirs in the picture. They do give two color options. One, I think, is a more orange, and one is a more red red. One's a lighter red, and one's a more orange red, depending on how your birds look around your place. But I am loving it. It's an easy stitch. There's not any a really small stuff, so you can just, like, uh, for the bird, I just outlined my bird and then went back and filled it in in the evening when we were watching TV. I did have to make a correction. I was down one row too low on its little body. 
and I had to pull out some of my stitches there and fix it because I'd gone down one row too many. And it probably, I probably could have left it, but I didn't want its body to be nearly touching the top of the male bird's head, like it was sitting on it. So, there you go. But that's it on 36 count uh, country mocha. And I love it. It's gonna be so pretty in there with all my other cardinals. I love my cardinals, y'all know that. It's been a pretty quiet week. Uh, like I said, the kids are getting ready to go to Florida for their spring break. Um, they won't go to Disney this time. I was, uh, that, shock, that shocked me. But they're not gonna go that way. They're gonna stay at the beach and at their house there. So Justin's been working on it like crazy. So it'll be the first time the girls have been since Thanksgiving, I think. And he's been going in between work trips and working and checking on progress and things like this. So they have been looking forward to that. I'm gonna go check on Mav, their kitty. Um, he's a good kitty, so he won't be he won't be honoring naughty like Patty would be if you left her. If we left her for a week or ten days, I'm pretty sure when we came back, the house would be burned down because Patty would have figured out how to burn the house down and she would burn the house down. Mav, however, is a good boy and he won't. He'll be just be a good boy, so there you go. But I gotta go check his water and his food a time or two while they're gone and be sure that he's all right. Let's see here. This is Smiling Kitty by Doreen Jones. I didn't work on it, but just a little bit I thought I would get to Stitch Niche on Saturday, and I didn't. I can't remember what I was doing Saturday. But everybody was doing something, and I didn't want to go by. Oh, James Williams worked, so I didn't want to drive by there and back by myself. I started to call my cousin and see what she was doing, but um, I had things I needed to do here at the house, so I just did them. So that was fine. So I haven't got a ton done. I did uh, some more of the flower. I did another flower and a little bit of the red marks, a little bit of the red little blooms. But I have to, let me see if I can pull it up on here. Without, I have to get out my gold thread and... Da, 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 da. Go over here to the photos. Right here. The little gold lines on there that look like trellis work, you're supposed to do with metallic threads. So I've got to get out my metallic thread. But you can see I just really have back stitching, one more lantern, and to finish the branch really is all I've got done but need to do besides the trellis work. So if I find working with the sometimes the gold. For me, sometimes the gold thread behaves itself, and for me, sometimes the gold thread makes me want to scratch my eyes out. And so if it's not behaving, I will probably um, switch and do the trellis work with just the plain gold thread, not the metallic. And I think it'll still be fine anyway, but he is so cute. And I do love him, and let me see what Charles told me he was called. Maniki Nico, Maniki Nico, I'm probably not saying that right, but he is so cute. And the thing I forgot last week was to do questions and comments. So there you go. I completely, I told y'all I was forgetting something. I don't know if I have any new pictures on here. Oh, Aria got up last Saturday and they all get up early and she's down there messing around in the kitchen. And she has um, started the coffee machine and unloaded and loaded the dishwasher. And she unloaded the dirty dishes and put in one plate and started it because she wanted her mama to get up and cut up her watermelon. So 
she had all that going on, so her mom would get up and get her watermelon cut up. And then here is, there's daddy going out to aunt to get the mower. They were gonna do yard work and it was out at Keeley's. And there's Catch running out to my daddy. He'll die if I, he knows I showed him in his work, in his yard work clothes, but he loves my daddy. He will go running and give him the biggest hug. He loves him some buddy. Keely did too. It's supposed to be a live picture, but I never can get the live thing to go good. I don't know. I think you have to keep touching it or something. Let me see if I can get it to go for y'all without the thing showing too much. <laughs> he loves to see my daddy. So they were um, out there to get the mower and go work on the yard and he seen daddy and went running. He loves it. So we're, like I said, we're out there tonight to um, celebrate Keely's birthday. And I went to see mama on Sunday and got her decorated for Easter. And as y'all can see, the little banner is back up there again. Because when I got there, she and my sister had gone into the dollar store. I think she needed toothpaste or something. And we just, you know, she likes to wander around in there. And so they went in there and she seen this little bunny on a bicycle and she wanted that for her door. And so when I got there, sister had said, I told her it was too early to put it up when we got it. And so, but when I got there and we were decorating for Easter, she was ready to put it up and that's what she wanted on her door, not this. So this came back and her little bunny on his bicycle is sitting on her door and looking so happy. I'm just using the called for DMCs on the Doreen Jones one, except for the fuzzy. The fuzzy parts of the kitty cat, I've got fuzzy stuff by Rainbow Gallery. And it's just like a white and a glittery because it has a little bit of glitter in it and that's what I had and so it's fine. So that's what I'm using on that. And one of y'all ask about, um, it won't go down. Anne does do my drums and stuff. She's done several of my drums. She does such beautiful stitching and she's written quilt books and I mean, she just is the best. But the this, when I finish this one, will go to Hannah. Hannah Coe is um, my bonus daughter. My, my daughter, I only have the one daughter, Micah, in the middle. I have CJ, Micah, and Keely. And Micah is the only girl. But when she was in college at, no, after she graduated, I'm sitting here lying, and she was working on campus at Stephen F. Austin. She met Hannah. And Hannah was another, um, I don't know what you call them, resident administrator or whatever. And they met and became friends and um, have remained friends forever. Hannah and Mochi um, got married in Washington and that's when I got to go to Washington State and go uh, to Snoqualmie Falls and on the lake there, they had their wedding on the lake on one of the old ferries at, in the evening and it was beautiful and the girls were in the wedding. And so I got to go around Seattle and um, of course at the time, this has been several years back. I had not really started my stitching. I mean, I've always stitched, but I didn't know about floss tube and I didn't, it never even occurred to me to look for a needlework store anywhere else because I could have gone in acorns and threads and probably sew my sew in there for all the beautiful things. But I didn't even, I didn't even know. So it, it's not going to Anne for finishing, it's going to Hannah Co as a gift. So um, I don't send her things as much as I should, but she is sweet and I love her and Mochi and they're up there so far away. So that will go to Hannah, not Anne. I'm sorry, I know my speech does run together at times. Now, the exciting thing that I got to do this week, I worked on my, let me be sure I fold this so you can't see the chart. 
on my Halloween Rules by Lizzie Kate. And I told you I'd finish the topper and I'd start it on this little bottom part. Well, look at here. I got to use the white thread. The floch, floch thread. I'm probably saying that wrong, but that's the best I got. Thread. And it is so incredible. It gives such a great coverage. Um, I'm trying to squeeze out some of the wrinkles on here. It's such a long piece that it's hard to get it, but I want it to where y'all can see how good a coverage I'm getting with this thread. Okay, and I started to leave it where y'all can see. I tried it stitching with two, but this is with one. So this is it. It is a DMC. It is a long strand cotton. This is one strand over two. So I finished my little dog and I started on the wear A because I wanted to get over here and stitch this. This is one strand of that thread and you get great coverage. So thank you for that time. That was a fabulous gift and it is really good. I have not ever seen that in the store. I know she ordered it straight from DMC and they sent it straight to me, but it is beautiful and it gave fabulous coverage on there. So I just need to finish my A and write the word costume. And then I will be starting on the eat candy because that's that little section there. And then I need to do the eat candy will be the next little bit here. So I am loving, loving, loving it. It is so cute. The little dog is adorable. I thought I would get a costume done to show y'all, but I didn't, so that's okay. So then I would just go on, scoot on down here and do Eat Candy. Hopefully I will get Eat Candy done this week. It doesn't have as much stitching I don't think as the wear a costume. And then you just go down, 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 and it is just so cute. I can't wait to have it finished. But I love it, and I have loved working on it, and I love using this thread. It's a DMC, and it is gorgeous. So that has been fun this week, getting to, um, I wanted to hurry and get over so I could use it and show y'all the, um, see, and then show y'all how good a coverage I got from it. And I did that a single strand and the double strand was so thick that it looked like puff paint. I mean, it was, it was thick, thick. The two was too much on this 32 count. So yes, it, you do get much better coverage with it. I mean, it is, so nice and it lays down really nice because it's the one strand it lays so nice so um i have i was really impressed with that and how well it's stitched and how um how cute it was i loved it so that is halloween rules all theirs um lizzie kate sold when they retired they sold all their designs to one, two, three stitch. So you can get them from one, two, three stitch. Anything they don't have listed yet, they say they will get, get things done eventually. Get to all of them. So, well, there you can. Sometimes people want to see the backs. That's my back. My backs usually stay pretty neat. I don't carry threads very far or anything, especially not on linen. You can't on linen, it'll show, and then you'll be sad when it's showing and it's all done. But I think that was all my stitching this week. Now, um, oh my gosh, and my nose is wanting to sneeze. Yes, we're still having the allergies, Lord have mercy. Several of y'all ask about, <coughs> excuse me, what's in the background back here. I went and grabbed this guy. Um, one of y'all ask about this, mm-hmm. Heather, this two here, this is the one I had up here last week. 
This is Easter Parade by Lottie Dom. And it is with the called for threads on the called for linen. And I love it. This guy is in the same book. There were two designs in it, and so I went and grabbed him. It's Easter Parade by Blackbird Design. Did I say by Lottie Daw? Good Lord. It's Easter Parade by Blackbird Designs. And these two designs are in the same booklet, little leaflet. And that has been reprinted. Um, I've seen it since, so it's been reprinted. And these are two of my favorite things. But I think these are with all the called for colors on the called for fabrics. Because at the time I didn't have any over dyes at all. And so I bought what was called for to use. And you can see, if you look here, this is before I knew not to run my thread because I am self-taught and know nothing. You can see where my thread, I ran my thread there. So. That's when I realized you should not bring your threads. Okay, this is Little House Needleworks, Spring ABCs. I don't think I changed anything on there. Maybe some of the colors. I don't really know though. I want to say I did the house blue. Maybe the house wasn't blue. I can't remember. These two... Okay. I'll lift these up. Okay, this one is Spring Hair by Lottie Daw. This one, Camel Soup Stitcher asked about it. It is Spring Hair by Lottie Daw. I changed the colors of the alphabet and the um, little pinwheel that he's got and he is just cute but the girls wanted rainbow letters so those are rainbow letters except for the d l and the w i did solid colors d l w because that's my initials so i did those in solid someone had to put my initials in anywhere and then in 2020 over there is the year i stitched it okay this one here and i went and looked up the name Okay, Christine, the two ones I have that are um, St. Patrick's Day. This is Let Me With You by Homespun Elegance. And this one is Bent Creek Snappers Holiday. Happy St. Patrick's Day. So he is just cute as he could be. I stitched him up here before last. And I just think he's adorable. He just sits in my little tear tray. He gets, they get a little bit of love during this time. Because they don't get to stay out very long. And then these two are Brenda Gervais with I Need One Thread. I don't remember the name of it. It'll come to me probably after I quit filming. And then this is another one of hers. So those two are there. I haven't put out my Easter. Probably um, when I take down my, these two little St. Patrick's Day ones, I will fill in with the rest of my Eastery looking decorations. And then these little guys were in a cross stitch magazine forever ago, but I love them. That was one of my first linen stitches. So I grabbed them out every year. Um, let's see. Okay. Heather B. My mama lived in Coppell for many, many years. So you lived right up there. She lived in Coppell for many years. Um, Maxwell studio, Granny Vic lived on 406 Spring Street in Weatherford. You said you used to live in Weatherford. She lived in a beautiful house on 406 Spring Street, James's grandma, and her yard was just covered with irises. She loved irises. Now they're redoing the house right now, or they probably finished it by now, and I don't think all her irises are everywhere anymore, which makes me sad, but mm. 
Patty, eight inches of snow is a no for me. I'm, I'm not a cold weather girl and mm -mm. Uh, Nancy, I hope you enjoyed all your hugs last week. I'm gonna be in a hug deficit this week since the girls are gonna be gone. So um, I hope you enjoyed yours last week. She got to um, babysit. Uh, Denise, Denise D828, welcome back. She said she would quit stitching for a while and had to come back, so yay. April, bail money for me is always a good thing. Anybody want to save bail money for me? I'm probably gonna need it at some point. Just start saving it up. Um, okay, Shannon says she skips single stitch borders, like around the Cardinal Ken. She says she does not like them, and she said, you know, and if you're gonna frame it or finish it out or whatever, you do have your frame as your edging. So whenever she has a single stitch border, she just skips it. And y'all, I that is my if you don't like doing single stitch borders, don't do them. Um, I the reason I wanted to remember to say that, Shannon, was um yes, just skip. If you don't if there's a part of a pattern you don't like or you want to change, like the button. In the spring in the spring blooms, I didn't want to try to order the button and wait for it. So I'm just reversing the little cardinal and putting it in there in that spot. And that works for me. So absolutely, everybody, if you don't like something in a little pattern, I, the designer would much prefer you just to change it and still stitch it. I mean, for heaven's sake. Um, Carla, your spring hair Lottie doll. So cute. Um I just love that pattern. That is the cutest. Where did it go? He's hiding behind me over there now, right there. Right, right there. He is so cute and I loved everybody that stitched him. It's turned out so cute. Okay, Michelle Ellie says the Princess and the Three Knights book, which I've got a little thing out here to remind me to order it for the girls. She said her girls loved it. And it talked about um, respecting, love being um, protecting and not harsh or harmful and um, I did get one comment about somebody who didn't like my rant and I don't know what to tell you you get what you get some weeks there's no rant some weeks there's a rant they said they were just there for the stitching and fast forward through the rant or change the channel it doesn't I want you to be happy so if that makes you happy change the channel um Carol, I do have your email, your recipes in my email. Hopefully this week I can get my email cleaned up. It is a little bit out of hand. Now, it's not like my sister's out of hand and I'm gonna call her out right here in public. My sister's email is at a level that is always at a level that gives me such anxiety just to think about it that I can have stroke. And then she just gets tired of thinking about it and makes a new email. <laughs> and I can't live that life. I cannot live that life. I have ones hanging out in my email for weeks now that haven't been dealt with just because I think they're gonna need, I'm gonna need to say, like, okay, Carol sent me recipes. I, and I know I'm gonna need to go and reply and save them to a recipe file. And so they're just still hanging out in there. And then one of y'all answered me about the Ada towels a to tea towels and I see it down there but I've got to go back to the person who said sent me that they said they had them and get them hooked up so when emails are I guess I'll say they're more than two step emails so like when you contact me Nisi Lane at Yahoo to say that you received a share you know that you're supposed to receive a share then I just I can reply to you and get it all packaged up and addressed and send it off that's a two-step email, which is really three-step email because the package is the third step, but the email part of it is two. If it's more than, if it's more than that, if I'm gonna have to save it or know I'm gonna wanna do something else with it, then that is more for me. And I am not, I know y'all told y'all many times, I'm not the tech person at all, none. And so that for me is a lot when I'm, that is something that I will put off and give myself anxiety about instead of just dealing with. So, there you go. Um, Debbie, I did not know that bunnies love bananas. She said they have a bunny and that it loves bananas and I did not know that. I had a rabbit forever and I never thought to give it a bite of a banana. Um, of course, back then there wasn't the internet, I was a kid. And I never thought, I don't know where I would have looked it up even, but 
I didn't know they loved bananas. She said she wished there was a pattern of a bunny with a banana because her bunny loves bananas. So um, I think I should just alter one for you or something. Or, because yes, if your bunny loves bananas, you need a bunny with a banana because that's hilarious. Um, okay, Cindy, good luck and have all the fun because she has she's going to have her five grandkids for eight days because her two daughters and their husbands are going to Antigua. And one, thank you for taking care of your first baby so she can go on vacation. Both of them can go on vacation and enjoy themselves and have time together and be together. And um, But have all the fun because you're going to be on for an adventure because, of course, you know, they have sports and dance and music and, you know, religious classes and real school and all the things. You're in for a week of fun and hard work, so enjoy it. Um, Kelly, I tried to find, she said she thought that the Cardinal Ken had been in a Plum, Plum Street sampler booklet that had more than one thing in it. If it did, well, one of y'all let me know because I didn't know it and I didn't see it. So if one of y'all did, I burnt my finger right the other day and getting stuff out of the oven. Let me know because I, um, she's looking for it if it's, just she's looking to see if it's that way and get it. So holler. Um, Patricia, I didn't get to the snitch snitch, sad day. Um, I told Rita about Hannah Co. Oh, Mary Beth, St. Anthony came through with a cheetah because I cannot find that cheetah anywhere. And I'm looking, I'm looking, and we found one of our little wood checkers at the same time the cheetah was missing. So St. Anthony came through double fold because Catch had, you know, and James Williams, I had my filly him Sunday and I went to see my mama. And so of course he had the TV entirely too loud while I was gone. And the base woofer thing for the TV was rattling and Catch had dropped one of the checkers into the little slot of it in the front and he could hear it rattling. <laughs> and he thought something was going out on his TV speaker, but it wasn't, it was just the little checker in there was rattling around. And so to, uh, this week I was like, okay, what the heck? And when I went to clean the floors, I run the broom under the couches and the chairs and everything. And it was back far enough that I couldn't see it. I guess he had dropped it and kicked it and it had gone back to the back because the, these chairs or two chairs are real big square chairs. And I guess he or one of, I, somehow, it, somehow it was knocked all the way to the back. So when I got my broom and raked my broom through and back out, there it was. So it did come up then. Oh my gosh. Y'all, my nose is itching off. Um, I haven't taken my allergy medicine this morning, so can you tell? Okay, I did get Happy Mail this week. And I, first one I got is from Frankie and Rhonda at Wicked Stepmother. And I'm gonna put these on here so y'all can see them. And I had the hardest time not um, using them up this week because y'all new thread is a thing. And these are gorgeous. I wonder if I can get that one. Um, this is the, and I tell y'all, hey Jude, whenever I see it, I have to say, hey Jude. She sent me these colors. And this is an exclusive for February is Lavender's Blue. Look at that, it's so pretty. Green River, Blackberry Winter, um, Midnight, and Hey Jude. And they are gorgeous and the color is not picking them up as true as I wish it should. Or maybe more like that. There you go. It's more like that. I don't know. The light in here is so weird today. This is looking kind of a gray and it's really does have a lavender, more blue to it. So these are beautiful. So thank you, Frankie and Rhonda. I had the hardest time not sticking them in with my stitching already. But I held off so I could show them off. And like I said, the fabric for my spring blooms in here is also Wicked Stepmother. 
this one. And it is Yellow Moon 28 Count Monaco that is looking so beautiful. I'm loving this. Y'all, I'm just loving this. I can't wait to go finish this one. That'll be what I'm gonna work on and finish as I eat me some lunch. Because today is food day. Yeah, because y'all know that's what I gave up, um, say food day. Um, liquids only Monday through Thursday through Lent. And so that was my Lent and give up this year. And it's gone pretty good. There are, like I said, I didn't do, this week it wasn't too bad. Last week when I cooked for the girls and made those black bean quesadillas, I could have cried. I wanted to eat the quesadilla so bad. I wanted a black bean quesadilla because that tortilla, grilling that tortilla smelled so good. It was horrible, but that's okay. I love you, Jesus. And I know you don't think I know, I know I act like it most of the time, so maybe it'll prove my devotion a little bit, right? Um, I got a package from Jenny, and she also sent sticker books for the girls, Princess sticker books, and they didn't want to take them on the plane. They wanted to save them for when they got back. So these are the most fun things you can find them around, but they are adorable and the girls love them. And I tell y'all, they crack me up because for some reason, Kimi never wants to put the eyebrows on hers. She says they look prettier without the eyebrows. And I think, I don't, I guess it's our alien DNA kicking in because Lord have mercy. It just wears me out that she wants to do them with no eyebrows. But she sent me some beautiful patterns that I hadn't seen this is a Bent Creek Classic, and it's a cardinal on an egg. I've never seen this one before. It is 28 by 54, so it's a little small, pretty beautiful little small piece. This is Little House Needleworks Hen Party. So adorable. This one really got my attention. I've never seen, this is called Winter Peace, and it's by it's at Water's Edge by Bobby Merrick. This is so beautiful. It has a kind of a pattern stitch for the tree and just the green underneath. And then you see the little deer is there under the tree. It is so pretty. And I think it has some glass beads on it too, yes. It does have some glass beads, some Mill Hill beads, but it is gorgeous. So this one really caught my attention in here. I've never seen any by this designer at all, Jenny. So that was fascinating for me. This is Freedom by Little House. Love it. Two Santas, which I had the other Santa somewhere. Mm hmm here we go. These are 7th and 9th by Sue Hillis, and they are so beautiful. There's a whole series of these. Let me see if I can flip them over this way. That she's done a whole series of these gorgeous Santas. They are beautiful. Oh, then this is a Sue Hillis traditional trees. And it's got beautiful trees and a partridge and a pear tree. And then it also gives the finishing instructions on the back called Traditional Trees by Sue Hillis. There is this beautiful thing. It's called Winter's Run. And it is just about a full coverage piece. It's not completely, but it's pretty close. Winter's Run by Dimensions, Chris Cummings. Those beautiful horses. That will be one of our shares this week because I love that running through the snow. And so many of y'all are stuck in the snow right now. I'm worried about you. There is Wild Berries by Loose Fet by Blackbirds. This one is fabulous. That bird is gorgeous. 
This is Rabbit Run by Prairie Schooler. So cute. And this is And To All A Good Night by Lottie Daw. Adorable. So some of these will be our, some of these ones that we'll pull will be our shares, some of our shares this week. And then she sent me the uh, the North Wind. Oh no, did I not get in here on my North Wind? <gasps> I didn't get in here on my North Wind. I worked on my North Wind this week, but he didn't get it in here. Where did it got to? I don't know. I set it down somewhere while I was getting stuff ready this morning, evidently. Go me. Anywho, there is a whole North Wind point. So the North Wind doth blow and we shall have snow and what will Robin do then, poor thing? He'll sit in a barn and keep himself warm and hide his head under a wing. And there's one for the swallow and the dormouse and the honeybee, and I've never seen it. And it, it says it's anonymous out of print, but she sent me a copy and I did not know um, there was a whole, there was like a whole point to it. I just thought it was a little same. So it says it has five verses, but it is beautiful. There's one about a honeybee. I, I just, it is gorgeous. So thank you, Jenny, so much for all this goodness this week. And then I got a package from Linda. She sent this beautiful card. And I'm trying not to get everything all muddled up here. This is Love Thy Neighbor As Thyself by Plum Street. This is Seven Stars, which I've never seen this one before, by Barrick Samplers. It is gorgeous. And even the picture, the little sketch on the back is beautiful. And this is Kitty and Me Designs by Pamela Kellogg. And it's John 15, five, I am the vine and you are the branches. It is gorgeous. And evidently there is a whole, like a lot of these. Joshua 24, 15, there's another one on there. So this is a, um, this is adorable. And I've just not seen this before somehow. I love it. Um, there is, what is this one called? Silver Creek. Michael's Prayer. Lord, send me where you want me to go. Let me meet the folks you want me to know. Tell me the words you want me to say and tenderly keep me out of your way. Amen. Michael, Michelle, Michael Judge, 1933 to 2001. Says he was a Franciscan friar and Catholic priest who served as a chaplain to the New York City Fire Department. While serving in that capacity, he was killed, becoming the first certified fatality on September 11th. The inspiration for the sampler came from a prayer said by Michael, Lord, take me where you want me to go. Let me meet who you want me to meet. Tell me what to say and keep me out of your way. I love this. And I don't know how in the world I haven't seen this either. This is beautiful. Love that. This is my big toes um, when I surveyed the Wondrous Cross. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Need to stitch that. There's so many things. Well, you could live forever and never get all your stitching done. Homes where you hang your needlework by Abby Rose. So pretty. There is Blessings Be Thine by Annie B's. I love Annie B's. Love that. Um, this is Great Goodness by Sheepish Designs. This little bird and all this is just fabulous. And I'm, yeah, it does have some size. It looks like satin stitches and it does have some satin stitches in there, which y'all know I love me some. I've never seen this. Sheepish Designs. It's called Great Goodness. And then here is Primrose Cottage's Jolly Happy Soul. So cute. I already have this in my stash. So cute. And then A Merry Little Christmas by Bent Creek. This is just the sweetest little thing. 
and she sent me one of these little um, wood things you can stitch on, some beautiful metallic threads, and this pure silk ribbon embroidery thread that is gorgeous by Bucilla. And I'm just sitting here running my fingers over it because it's beautiful. So thank you, Linda. I appreciate it so much. And we will put some of these in um, also for this week. So we'll do one, two, three. Let's see what I'll we'll pull out right here real quick. We'll do this one five. Okay. We're going to pull out these five here. And so from last week, before I forget to say it, and I still haven't heard from um, Susan Saunders about this guy. Um, this one, Heart, Christine, and you're just Christine with just a C as your little um, avatar thing. Let's see, I'm not sure I get this the right way. Okay, Easter. Cassandra McCraw, Cassandra McCraw. Email me, Nisi Lynn at yahoo.com. It's in the drop down. Um, spring, Patty, I hope I don't mess up your last name. Patty Golchak. I hope that's right. Golchak. Patty Golchak. G O C Z A L K. Patty, give me a holler. May goes to Lisa Dunham and Carrot is Anne Musso. So y'all holler and let me know your addresses so I can get these in the mail. I can't believe I forgot to bring North Wind over here to show y'all. And then this week we will do, this one is called Seven Stars. Use the word stars. If you're interested in this one, this Barrick Sampler. This one is um, All a Good Night. Use the word night. Use the word night if you're interested in this one. It's so pretty. Use this one, Jolly Happy Soul. Um, use the word happy. Use the word happy if you're interested in this one. Use the word home. This is Home is Where You Hang Your Needlework by Abby Rose. It's one of these that does not show up as good in the pictures. I think it's gonna look beautiful when you get it stitched. The picture just doesn't do it justice. Use the word home if you're interested in that one. And this one is winter run. Use the word winter. These are all beautiful this week. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So if you're interested in that one, use the word winter. I think course, once again, I think I haven't forgot everything this week, which probably means that I have forgot something this week. Um, North Wind, I did forgot to show. Smiling Kitty, I showed. Goodness. One, two, three, four, five. Wooly Winter is the other one. Somebody tell me why I want Wooly to have two L's. I'm such a spelling weirdo. I mean, I'm usually right on it, but there's something about the word woolly that makes me want it to have two L's in it, but I'm gonna jump off here. I'm going to um, try to get this uploaded real quick and get everything ready to go tonight to Kelly's birthday. So I hope y'all have a happy Friday and have a great weekend and enjoy your stitching. Bye.